Let's get the show started, shall we? Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 29th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, welcome inside BC Children's Hospital. You know, this place serves one million children living in BC and the Yukon. They treat the severely ill kids, of course, but they also take care of all those smaller things like the bad ear infection that happens at 2.30 in the morning or a broken elbow. Those things can feel like big things to little people, sure. I'm sure. So for the next four hours, all day tomorrow, we will give you an insight into so many heroic stories and how this hospital is such an important place to many families around beautiful British Columbia. Right now, we're pleased to introduce you to our 2016 champion child, Aiden Shin. Five years ago, cancer tore apart Aiden's world and forced him into BC Children's Hospital for weeks at a time. But cancer couldn't break the deep bonds Aiden had with his brother and his friends. In fact, it was quite the opposite. Uh, let's Before we get to being the champion child and the ambassador that you are and how cool that role is, let's talk a little bit first, Aiden, about what happened because at 11 years old, life kind of went upside down for you and your entire family. Talk to me about what happened. Um, so I was diagnosed uh, February 16th of 2011 and I was 11 years old. So, um, and it went from me being really healthy feeling yeah. and um, quite mm -hmm. active really and then starting to feel really sick, really tired and um, not wanting to do anything and then um, it came to the point where I, as an 11 year old, was asking my family, can we go see the family doctor? And so that really was like, okay, there's something they wrong with our something kid. Something was really wrong. Yeah, exactly. And you were diagnosed? Yeah, with, with uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is a form of childhood blood cancer. So you've spent a lot of time in this hospital. Mm -hmm. And what was that like as the younger brother? What's your recollection of that time? Because that must have been pretty scary. Uh, yeah, you know, just the feeling of one of your family members in the hospital is just not a really good feeling. You know, yeah. you always know that something could go wrong at any time. I can tell there's a strong brotherly bond. Was it difficult to... How did you maintain that bond while your older brother was being treated in hospital? Well, for me, it was really get any chance to go to the hospital. <laughs> uh, usually with my dad, if they went on the weekends or even after school. Uh, it was just a good feeling to help my brother and remind him of the older days when we could just hang out and play video games and Lego. Mm -hmm. So now, Aiden, to be asked to be the champion child must mean, I, I imagine, means the world to you. Oh, it was an honor. I was so, um, I was a little, uh, I, it surprised me. I was like, wow, this is going to be amazing. And um, so it's just been an honor to get this opportunity to really share my story and also represent BC Children's Hospital and share the stories of what amazing care that they do here at the hospital. So you're truly an ambassador. Yeah. And when you talk to people, um, what do you tell them about the experience here and why they should, on a, on a weekend like this, the Miracle Weekend, why should they be supporting the hospital and donating? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because of the hospital that I'm here today and many of my friends are here today. Um, so with their support, they're able to give patients like myself the amazing care that we get so that we can live our healthy lives and carry on with our childhood. What's life like now? Um, it's good. It's healthy. It's active. Um, and uh, it, it couldn't be better right now. I'm really happy. So back to being competitive brothers in all things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much uh, for being with us this weekend. We're, we're delighted to have you as the champion child. What do you want to say to folks at home who are watching? I'll let you make the pitch for people to, to phone in and uh, donate their money. Um, donate your money to BC Children's Hospital because it's because of what you do that kids like myself are here today and it just means the world to us and it's so great for us to and to hear all the other child's stories all of them it's just so inspiring and amazing for all of us thank you awesome thanks guys so there's the number on your screen right now 310 2224 and again online it's easy to do give us a call later on miracle weekend the story of a teen who could have left the world of cancer behind him, but chose to stay there in order to help others. Aiden's story, coming up on Miracle Weekend. Miracle Weekend coming to a close, but what a weekend it's been. It's time to check in for a big total, guys. It is. Let's so do it. Uh, everyone, are we ready to hear those numbers when we finally get there? Yeah. I'm ready. Right. Yeah. We're all going to call them out en masse, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
Right? Yes. Okay. Yes, we are. And okay. then we have party poppers, right? Yeah, we all have yeah. 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 been waiting for those. Let's, let's try not to take out an eye with those things, okay? <laughs> we say that every year, and so far, it's, uh, it's all worked it's out. It's okay. <laughs> hey, before we do this, though, I really would like to say thanks to all the volunteers working behind yeah. the scenes who helped us out. Um, yes. You've been amazing. Yes. Yes. It really, it really is a cast of thousands. So, do we want to do this right now? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> let's turn the numbers. Okay. Eight. Eight. Zero. Six. Six. Eight. 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 One. Zero. and every one of you. Thank you for your donations. Thank you so much, everyone, and a special thank you as well to Ferris, our yeah. child host. Ferris, thank you yeah. so much. You got your party poppers, buddy. Thank you, BC. You're incredible. Thank you, BC. See you next year on Good work, Miracle everyone. Weekend. Miracle Weekend wouldn't have happened without you. Thank you for everything you do. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please give to my sunshine Hi, my name is Megan. I spent six months in the hospital. I have Crohn's disease. Thank you for volunteering at Miracle Weekend. Miracle Weekend is really important to me because without it, kids like me wouldn't be here. Thank you for everything you do. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please give to my sunshine today. I'm Luca, and Miracle Weekend is really important to me because it helps sick kids like me get better. Thank you for working so hard to make Miracle Weekend happen. Thanks for everything you do. Thank you so much to the volunteers at BC Children's Hospital. We are so lucky to have amazing people like you help us. Thank you. Thank you for supporting Miracle Weekend. On behalf of all the kids here at BC Children's Hospital, thank you for being so amazing and raising so much money. Thank you for helping. We are pleased to introduce you now to our 2016 champion child. I had a chance to chat with Aiden Chin earlier this evening. Five years ago, cancer tore apart Aiden's world and forced him into BC Children's Hospital for weeks at a time. But you know what? Cancer couldn't break the deep bond Aiden had with his brother and his friends. In fact, it did quite the opposite. I don't expect my cancer to come back. It's a new chapter in my life. 
I guess there is a sense of being a child, being a teen again. So there are times when I do feel free. I don't think I could ever fully go back to what it was like before. Brandon was seven years old and I was only 11, so we both were just kids, right? I had no clue. I, I, I heard the cancer word, I was just like, what is that? Okay, maybe I'm gonna see him uh, tomorrow. My eyes kind of started opening up and I was just like, Aiden's not gonna be here for a while. I'm only gonna see him maybe a couple times a week. It just kept on going to my head, like what if he was not gonna make it? What if I wasn't gonna see him at home anymore? There were times when I was feeling really sick and out of it and tired, and there were times when it wasn't always the chemo, it was about how other patients in the hospital were doing. You don't know what it's like, because I've been through so much pain, but I want to be here for two weeks. They've been here for six months, you say? And I was sad that there were other patients and there were other children that were younger than me going through cancers that were harder than mine. Basically, from that point on, I was like, why don't I try to get through it and then hopefully come back, help out. That's what I've basically been trying to do since I finished treatment. I got to join this club at the hospital called the Oncology Teen Group Club. It's something that you can't find out of the hospital. As a survivor, I'm still part of the teen group. There's still a lot of support that I can give to them and they can give to me because there's an understanding that uh, treatment isn't over when you're a survivor. There's still um, an emotional side of things. You have friends that are going through it, friends that are, aren't gonna make it through it, and that becomes a reality for you. It's not just over. Brooke was a friend of mine that I met in the hospital, and uh, she became basically a, um, a sister to me. Brooke was definitely the closest friend that I had that I lost. The day before she passed away, I did get to see her in the hospital, and I did get to hold her hand, talk to her, and say goodbye, and tell her I loved her one last time. And I don't believe that you can accept something like that. You have to, I guess, learn to cope with it more. Before, I felt like cancer was something that was rare, that one in a ton of kids would be diagnosed, but it's not rare, and there's a lot of kids in oncology, children that are going through what you went through, and pain that is um, unexplainable. I want to be able to give back to those that have helped me in the hospital, that have made it so that I can go out there and be active and just live my life again. It's a really good feeling that I could just go home and do something with my brother now. Without Children's Hospital, my brother wouldn't be here, so I'm eternally grateful for them being there. I'm looking forward to staying connected to the hospital because it's been such a big part. Giving back and uh, pursuing the dreams that I have and being able to do that because of BC Children's Hospital. Miracle weekend coming to a close, but what a weekend it's been. It's time to check in for a big total, guys. It is. Let's so it. before we do this, though, I really would like to say thanks to all the volunteers working behind yeah. the scenes who helped us out. Um, yes. You've been amazing. Yes. Yes. It, really, it really is a cast of thousands. So do we want to do this right now? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> let's turn the numbers. Okay. Zero, six, eight, eight, one, zero. Whisper their prayers.
take joy in knowing that everyone shares their faith and hope and love. Little ones laughing, lost in their play, through grateful eyes you can hear them say. Peace comes to you from above. 